Hello and welcome to Inkscape for Teachers. I came across this fantastic extension and I just had to do a video on it to show you. The extension is called Bezier Envelope and once it's installed it will appear under Extensions, Modify Path, Bezier Envelope. You probably won't have that so you'll need to go and uh, find that but you can also get it from a link uh, in the video description of this video. I'll leave a couple of files. It's an INX I think and a PY file that have to be saved to the Inkscape extensions directory, then Inkscape restarted and uh, this extension will then appear under here. Okay, so let me show you how it works. First of all, you need a path that has four nodes. If I click on this and hit enter the node tool, it's actually a rectangle because I've got these uh, controllers and things here that affect the rounded corners and so forth. So I need to turn it into a path. And when I drew it, I drew it in this order from top left and then move it across to the right. If you're using a Bezier pen tool you must start in the top left and go clockwise uh, before you join up. It must have four nodes. Okay, now enter the node tool. Check that's uh, still a rectangle. Yep, so I need to go path, object to path. Now you can see the four nodes. Once that's done we need to have the text in path form as well. Now that's one text object. You can see down here text if I go path, object to path, it's actually now a group of eight objects, not text. So I need to control U to ungroup that. You can see it's eight letters. And then path, combine, and now it's one object. Once you've got that one object, you can then shift click. It must be selected first. Shift click on the object that you want to uh, apply it to. But before we do that, let's make this a bit more interesting. Uh, now I could just use N for the node tool and do all sorts of you know shapes, whatever I want to do. Look, I'll show you that anyway. Click on that and shift click and then apply the extension. Then modify path, Bezier envelope. It'll put it in there like that. That's uh, a little bit messy. So what I'll show you is how you can get neater uh, paths to put it in. I like to look at uh, view page grid. I'll just drag that till it snaps to grid, make sure grid snapping's on and let's make it uh, something that's got a clear central line in it vertically and there okay now I'll get rid of the grid I'll actually before I do that I'll modify it, enter the node tool and I'll drag that so it snaps to a grid square there and down to there okay now I'll shift click to drag that down a bit snapping where I don't want it so I can turn snapping off now and you know perhaps make that my path. Now I select the text, shift click to select the path, extensions again till I find it, so modify path, there's the envelope and it'll go in a bit more neatly as you can see. I'll get rid of the grid now and if I give that a fill now um, you can see it's actually two objects. Let's see if I can uh, send that to the back no, that's uh, both objects are yellow, so Control Z a couple of times. What I'll do is I'll just click away, and then I'll click on that path only and make it yellow. Then if I send it to the back, it's a separate object. I can Control Shift, drag it up, something like that if I want to. Get rid of the boundary, change the color, whatever you want. Change the text coloring, you know, anything you you like. Okay, now just to show you that um, you can put in any object. Gee, that's uh, text again. So I'll go path, object to path, then path combine. I'll control D to duplicate that. I might need a couple of copies. Let's try and put one copy. Actually, I'll need to ungroup that control U. Let's put that copy and shift click on there, apply the extension, and you'll see it goes in there quite nicely as well. Now, if you do the uh, path the wrong way round, let's use the Bezier pen tool, now it should be top left and then move clockwise and join up. But if I ignore that and go the other way, oops, control Z, I put in a curve there, just click on each vertex, then back to the start. Now look what happens if I click on the text, shift click the path and apply the extension, and we're going back to front. Now, you can reflect, but that reflects the whole lot. You might uh, not quite want that. 
But anyway, remember, start at the top left and uh, move clockwise around the shape. Now if you want to start with some shapes that have already uh, got quite uniform using the grid, I've got this document here. You can see there are a number of nice uh, shapes you can put text into there. And I'll leave a link to this document. In the, it's an SVG Inkscape file. I'll leave a link to this in the video description as well as a link to the extension. Once again, thanks for your company. Until next time, bye for now.